woke up that morning. I was alone. I hoped that Richard had risen early, maybe to go to the castle. I left to search for him right away. No, not yet. That old man had quite a bit of fight in him, I heard. They whipped him for days. And when it was over, he just asked for a mug of wine. Didn't beg, but asked, hurry up, I'm thirsty. Like it was some kind of feast or something. Makes you wish he was still on our side. What a shame. Nah, he's not fighting. He's giving up. Burned down to the stump he is. Nah. Giving up looks different. Not if you've lost it all. Heard he even sacrificed his own children. Thought he knew better than the king and paid for it. Can't make myself feel for a bugger like that. They're talking about father. I can't stand them talking about father like that. I know them. This is all such nonsense. Maud as queen. What was the old man thinking? I believe he just got too comfortable with King Henry. You've got to admit, Henry was a decent monarch. Sneaky and harsh, but decent. But would Maud have been the same, just because she's his daughter? Well, ever since William the Conqueror, no ruler of the English was born as such. They all had to fight for their claim, and if Stephen is better than Maud, then so be it. Bartholomew steered the wrong wave, and look where it brought him. You've got to stay adrift with the tide, that's what I always say. Maybe it's time for Shiring to get some new blood into Earl's castle. Hmm, maybe you're right. I used to pour them wine, those backstabbing creatures. Whenever I get close, they look away. I don't expect any help from them. On our way here, we heard the stared an inn. They made us eat peasant food. Gruel? Not a pinch of meat. Isn't there a law against that? Well, they aren't allowed to eat our food, but they can make us eat theirs. We had a fowl butchered and smoked before we left. We'll do the same next time. This common food may help with work in the fields, but, but I heard it also makes you stupid. They don't care about me, and I even less about them. You heard me, now move along. Get out of my way, guard. Every citizen has the right to petition the king. But the poorer sort are generally not foolish enough to exercise that right. What are you saying? You're talking to the son of the Earl of Shiring. I'm his daughter. If you don't let us pass, we'll have you locked away and make you rot in a dungeon. Like your father, you mean? What? You know where he is? Of course. And you should too, if you're who you say you are. He's in the jail right here in the castle. How do we get there? Go left before the gate and cross the yard. You'll need to talk to the jailer, though. His name is Odo, and he's got deep pockets. Deep pockets? Well, you lower sort cannot expect any favors for nothing. Better get used to it, if you want to survive. Now, clear the way. There are people who want to see the king. I could have done this on my own. Just like you could have run away on your own, without telling me anything. Shh, hush, Ali. The people are watching us. I don't think that they care. I'm sorry. I thought I could talk to the king before you woke. You did so much yesterday. I didn't want to wake you. 
Please, don't be cross. I am cross because you were stupid. We must stick together. Oh, don't give me that look. Sorry. Shall we go and see Father now? Yes. Did you like what you saw, mistress? Of course not. But my husband seems to be in good health. I hope it'll stay that way. I hope so too, but you know, nowadays good food is just so hard to come by. Oh, you're so kind. That'll help to keep him fed for a while, surely. Take good care of him. I'll be at the market. Will do. Good business, mistress. What are you staring at? Your ear. You should take better care of yourself. What was that all about? I don't know, but we have our own problems. So come on. I'm fine, Ali. You're a good horse, and so calm. I can tell the King's men are far better caretakers than the Hamleys. Look, if you're so desperate to get in, talk to the sheriff and steal a chicken. That is, first steal a chicken, then talk to the sheriff. I'll take care of the rest. Um, uh, are you the jailer? Your humble servant. What is it? We're... We're here to see our father. He is the Earl of Shiring. Is he? Look like just plain Bartholomew to me. So he's here. Look at us when we're talking to you. How much have you got? We've nothing. So don't bother asking for a bribe. Then you can't see your father. Sorry. Please, let us see him now. Sorry, can't make an exception. Each time someone wants to see someone, they have to pay. That's the rules. But they're your rules. Right, but that doesn't make them any less rulesy, does it? Must have been dozens so far, each one slipping me a penny. If I let you in for free, the others might think I treated them unevenly, that I am an unjust man. <laughs> Can't have them think that, can I? Um, who was that woman? That'll be two pennies. What? Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> That's Meg. Her husband tried to trick a fellow merchant out of his purse. Wasn't good at it. Now he's lost everything. Then where does she get all her coin? She took over his business. Works as a merchant at the market. Funny that she still cares so much for him. I wouldn't. I'll get a penny, and I'll bring it to you as soon as I can. But won't you let us see him now, just for a few moments? Get the penny first. Shouldn't be too hard. One of you must be worth something. How is he? Just tell me that, please. Is he all right? No, he's not. He's dying. Now get out of here.
Are you crying? Didn't you hear what he said? Yes, but he was lying. The last time we saw Father, he was very much alive and healthy. Sometimes I wonder what is going on in that head of yours. So how are we going to get a penny? We could beg. Beggars usually ask for food or clothes. I never heard of anyone giving them money. Well, how do people get money? The king gets money from taxes, lords have rents, priests have tithes, shopkeepers have something to sell, craftsmen get wages, and peasants don't need money because they have fields. Apprentices get wages too. So do labourers. We could work. But, Ali, I can't work like a common man. I'm the son of an earl. Not anymore. You heard what the jailer said. We're no better than anyone else now.